Hello, good morning. It's Monday and uh, I'm taking a mental health day off of uni. So I'm going to show you what a mental health day would look like and how I am going to make myself feel better. It's uh, 11.43 right now and I'm going to try and not feel guilty for wasting my morning even though I have. Step one, get out of bed, done. Step two, clean myself. You shouldn't have to queue. You should go straight to the front. I'm out of the shower and now I'm cleaning my room. Made my bed. I just phoned my dad because I miss him. I'm cleaning my desk because it was really stressing me out. And I'm also gonna clean the top of my cupboard. clean. I'm going to get dressed and go to the bank and I'm going to come home and my food delivery should be ready to be delivered so I need to be here to get it. Um, and I also need to go to the concierge to pick up a parcel for my housemate and I just need to get some fresh air. Step whatever this is, get fresh air and do tiny jobs that don't require much energy and it will make you feel accomplished. Okay, before I could even go out, my food shop came, which is good actually, because I was scared I was gonna miss it. It was actually very stressful. I was like getting changed. And so I was like basically naked. And then this thing goes when someone's at the gate. And so I was like, ah! So I had to like quickly get changed and then be like, okay, I'm coming one second. But yeah, I'm gonna pack this away now. Off to the bank. I'm wearing sliders and it was a big mistake. Because <laughs> now my feet hurt because I have to like make sure the sliders don't fall off my feet. Don't forget to eat. Um, I'm having tomato and pasta. It's in a plastic container because this is what I was going to take to college with me. Um, I've just put some sausages on to add to it because this might be a bit bland. Yeah, it's a bit boring. Thank you for meeting me. Always interested in a good fight. Why did you want us here? I want to place a sizable wager on this match. I've just made a rough plan for my week um, of what I'm gonna do, just so that Maybe it's a little bit less. Um, 
overwhelming. Tonight I'm going to try and research some musicals. It's now 11.30 and I actually found some motivation and I did research for one musical. Um, my goal was just to do two musicals tonight. Well, actually, originally my goal was to do every single musical that, I've, that we've done so far at college. But I decided because the fact that it's such a big task, it's overwhelming me more. So, like, the only priority that I really need right now is to do the two musicals that I'm working on right now, which is a chorus line and sweet charity. The other ones that I've done prior to these musicals can wait until, like, Easter holiday or something, and then I can catch up. So, I'll show you what I've done. This is my musical theatre bible. This is the front page, and this is like a checklist of everything that I will need to research for every musical that I do. And then I've like left spaced. This is the musical that I've done in the past like two hours, a chorus line. So I've done like all like the creatives for Broadway, and then the Lester Curve, and then what productions have been on, and then the cast and the characters. The one in Pink is Broadway, the one on um, Blue is West End. Um, their awards, plot summary, songs from the show, and then my character. So that's the kind of research that I want to do for all of them. So like it does kind of take a significant amount of time because I obviously have to find it and everything. And there's like different ones for like Broadway and then West End and then like touring and things like different casts. I know I'm not going to go in until the afternoon tomorrow. So I think I'm going to do this again for Sweet Charity, which is the other musical that I wanted to do. And I'm going to try and do it tonight. But I think tomorrow morning I'll have a little bit of like a self-care morning and journal and meditate. I probably won't do that tonight because I think once I've done this I'll be really tired and I'll just want to go straight to sleep. But tomorrow morning I'll have maybe a bit more of a mental health self-care morning. Okay, I know I went on about how long it takes, but I actually did that in like 25 minutes and I'm really proud of myself. It's not as good as a chorus line, but because it's not, because a chorus line is bigger than Sweet Charity, but uh, yeah, and I also haven't done my character because I can't be bothered. Good morning, uh, it's 8.30. I feel better this morning. I couldn't really get to sleep last night though, because um, I was a bit anxious. We put our washing on last night and so now they're gonna be all crinkled but whatever and so we put it on and like obviously it's like da -da -da -da, cause it's washing and it's like in it's on the same compartment as like where our sink is and there's dishes in there and so it, it sounded like someone was doing the dishes but both me and sean were in bed so no one was doing the dishes it was just because the washing was like moving that aggressively that it moved the dishes in the sink but yeah it was scaring me because i felt like someone was in the house i don't know why someone would choose to do the dishes but yeah i feel more awake this morning yesterday was it was good because i just yeah i felt like i, I just calmed myself down a little bit and uh, i did small tasks which made me feel accomplished which is good but i also just got to like chill out a little bit um, which i feel like i don't get to do on the weekends because i work and things which obviously like taking a day of college isn't the best solution, but that's what I needed yesterday. I'm gonna go and have some breakfast now. I need to take my retainers out and then I'm gonna have a nice self-care morning. I'm gonna journal and meditate. And then for about two hours, I will make notes on my lectures and seminars that I've missed and try and catch up on all of them as well. I think I'm like week six now. And I think I've probably been to like two of them or like I've probably been to a lot more than that, but like, didn't listen at all and then i'm gonna go to college for my last three lessons um it's a bit peak because i'm just gonna sit out of my practical ones because my ankle like the first one i have when i go in is tap and that's quite a lot of impact on your ankle on your feet 
So I'm probably just going to sit out that and take notes at the front. And then I've got singing, which that's kind of the only reason I want to go in today, which is actually so unlike me. Like, I don't like singing that much, but I've worked hard on my song. Yesterday I was practicing it. Last week, like, half the people performed. And then this week, the other half the people would perform. And so I'm meant to go this week. And I don't want to miss a week of not going. So, yeah, that's kind of my motivation to go in today. It's time to rise and shine with a smile. You are going to form a picture in your mind. You are dancing before you even get up because you are excited about the day ahead of you that you created. Fresh, energizing oxygen and seeing your day play out just open, fully awake, and ready to tackle the day with a smile. That was lovely actually. Be honest, these pages are for you and no one else, so if you're not honest with yourself, who can you be honest with? Very true. This is really cute. Journaling done. That was kind of harder than I was expecting to be honest. So like the idea of journaling is a bit confusing because there's not really a right or wrong way to do it. You kind of just write down how you're feeling, I guess. But I feel like in some ways that is really difficult because it's so hard to actually describe how you are feeling. Because I feel like I don't even know. Like there's this little box where it says feeling check-in, so I put anxious, they're all quite negative, but I was just being honest. Anxious, stressed, confused and uneasy, um, and I feel like that kind of relates to what I was talking about because it's like I know I have this physical feeling, like the physical symptoms of anxiety, but I don't know why, like I don't know what's causing it per se. but. At least it's now on paper and not in my brain. I'm done! I actually caught up on all of my lectures. I mean, like, I did basically just copy and paste all of the PowerPoints, but... I'll show you. I think I caught up on, like, three. So I just did that. This one was about, oh, like, writing styles. So that one was kind of short, because I also did do a bit of that in the lecture. And then this one's about sexuality. It's five minutes to twelve now. I'm gonna have my lunch because I'm gonna I have to go in forty five minutes. So I'll just make a bacon butty and just chill for a bit, and then I'll get ready and I'll go to college. <laughs> video here moral of this story is that not only do you need to like rest and chill but you also need to like not just like rest doesn't just mean like sleep it just means like stop just stop what you're doing for a day and just do what you want like it doesn't it can be something productive it doesn't have to be something productive it can be watch movies it can be not watch movies like it can literally be anything you can wallow if you want and just cry and do nothing like that sounds great honestly or you can 
try and brighten up your life and go on a walk and make the day seem better and find the good in the day and find the joy in the day. You can do whatever you want, it's your time for yourself. Never feel guilty to take a day off because it's all part of the process. Like, you need days off, we're human, like, we're young, this is the time to make mistakes. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make mistakes because I'm a young adult, like, I haven't even lived a lot yet. Like, the whole point is, you're not meant to do everything right. What would be the point? Don't feel guilty for taking a day off, or two days off, or a week off, or a year off. If you're feeling down, and you need a mental health day, take a mental health day. If you would like some suggestions as to what to do on your mental health day, I will provide some. Make sure you're eating. Make some food, like spend a couple of hours making a nice dinner. Cooking is therapeutic, and it's something that is productive because eating is very important, but it's also not, doesn't take that much mental energy. For me anyways, it doesn't. I would say go on a walk. Get some fresh air. Sometimes being in the same room or house can get a bit, it can drive you crazy. Maybe don't go on social media. What's your favorite movie? What's your like comfort movie or comfort show or read a book? Drink water, make sure you're drinking your water. I would say journal and meditate. Whatever you need to do, whatever feels right. Maybe just sit there and listen to music. Like that's what I was doing a bit last night. I was just sat here in the dark and I was just sat there with myself. And you know what? It's such an easy thing to do, but it's such a nice and therapeutic thing to do. Sometimes you need to be just left with your own thoughts. Or sometimes you need to completely get away from your own thoughts, and that's fine. Organising and cleaning can really help. Because sometimes if your environment is messy, then it makes your mind messy. So maybe have a shower, maybe have a face mask, maybe clean the kitchen, maybe clean your room, maybe sort your books out, sort your life out, order things make a to-do list. I fucking love writing to-do lists. I personally feel better after my mental health day. You're not expected to come back from a mental health day and be perfectly happy. That's obviously not how it works. But if you feel a little bit more rested or a little bit calmer or a little bit just more understanding of what you're feeling, then it was a productive day. Any outcome, it was a productive day because that's what you felt you needed at the time. I always feel like when you take a day off and you go back, you're expected to be like 100% happy or healthy again, but like that's always not the case. So don't feel pressured to cure your sadness or depression in a day because obviously that's not gonna happen. But keep taking little steps. Rather than just stopping and quitting, just slow down. I feel so much better after my day off. I feel calmer and I'm ready to have a more positive attitude. I hope this was somewhat insightful <laughs> and maybe you can take some something from it i'm going to enjoy this bacon butty because i love a bacon butty mm. not enough packed up though <laughs> thanks for watching lots of love bye